Welcome to another episode of The Pat Down. I'm sitting here today at the wonderful Helium Comedy Club in Indianapolis, and I'm hanging out with my good friend, White Boy Chris. Say what it is. What it is. I love. He be fucking that up. Uh, and I'm sitting here with Dion. What's up, y'all? And we're going to have some fucking fun today. We talking about Granddaddy Long Legs, <laughs> Sarah Huckabee with that motherfucking turkey neck. <laughs> And the awesome, the awesome twin, that motherfucker, they don't, them bitches don't went back in time. I think they got uh, Benjamin Buttman going on. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. You better get up, get out, and tune into this podcast. It's Pat spit the truth, spit the real fact. Nothing but the ugly, classy at the same time. Pat got the flavor, these are not the same lines. That's the politics, she been on the real grind. It could be pretty but ugly at the same time. Just tune in, put your lock on the spin down. Ain't no need for the wait and turn her up now. What you talking about? It's real though. And cut the game, you get no play like Nintendo. You wait the time, turn it up, nothing but the ugly. Straight off the top, everything she say, you know it's funny. Full blast, this is a taste of the future. Listen on your iPhone or your desktop computer. Share it, tweet it. Ain't no way to beat it. Nothing but the ugly. Turn it up and gon' repeat it. Nothing but the ugly. I'm sorry I'm late, guys. I got shit to do. I'm a mother. Y'all ain't got shit to do, but... Wash your yeah. balls and see about yeah, your don't have, no, we Nothing don't remember, to do. Remember I don't what have, I told you? So, uh, yeah. Do you have any idea what it's like working for you, Miss Pat? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't, it, I bet you don't feel like no slave, Chris. <laughs> no, I, no I'm, I'm here voluntarily. But I saw God a piece damn. of cotton fall out his ass. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we, were talking, we were talking about that before you got here. We are just commit, just mi, mi, the, the hurricane that is Miss Pat. When <laughs> Man, I, I've been ripping and running all fucking day with these kids. The kids are out of school for the summer. Why? Why? Why, America, we need all you <laughs> around school. Don't let my motherfucking children out of school. I told Avery, you should give them crack babies up. I said, it's just not working out. You know what I mean? It was like a temp job. You try your best. Man. <laughs> you got you to gotta let them go. Listen, they ain't like three loaves of bread this week. I'm like, y'all can't keep eating up my goddamn bread, and this is 50 cents bread you know the fucking great value of bread yeah you all going these through three lo- can you imagine if that was the good shit i would stab <laughs> some country white yeah i mean I, i'm getting i mean i'm 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 giving the weakest bread out there and they're just eating the shit i'm like hey babies you can't eat like this i know the fucking school don't feed you she like mad this. they're growing chris i know they're <laughs> nourished she goes she, i was on the phone with her last night and she goes i don't know what the fuck these kids want i had to give them a peanut butter and jelly and a hot dog roll because they ate all the goddamn bread what more do these kids want i don't know another sandwich to feed their growing bodies she was i just one came up and he was like, I'm just really hungry. I gave you goddamn beanie weenies. <laughs> <laughs> Can I take him to the store today for shoes? How about, how about he wear eight and a half? I'm like, when the fuck did your feet grow, dude? <laughs> said, Do you understand you got to get the fuck out of my house? <laughs> He's eight. <laughs> Don't you have a job already? Take your big dick and feet out my house. <laughs> <laughs> And then he's sitting there, and I noticed that his shorts are tight, like booty shorts. I'm like, why the fuck your shorts so tight? I'm about to start doing like the Chinese people do. They kid put their shoes in their little boxes so their feet don't grow. Oh my god, yeah, please don't start doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Oh, because then they're gonna they're glass like, slippers, yo, so their feet won't get big. Yeah, but then they'll be on disability and live with you forever. No, they can get the <laughs> fuck out with their little feet. <laughs> little feet, people live by themselves. Repeat the Uncle Cecil all <laughs> time for. <laughs> he could be helping four people fuck. Oh, man, they, they, then my grandkids come over, right? My grandkids come over, and uh, I got to keep them. My granddaughter, all she want to do is question you. I'm like, shut the fuck <laughs> up. You don't ask grown people questions. Like you say. <laughs> That's what school is for. <laughs> fuck yeah. She, you say something. Why do I have to do that? Because I said so, motherfucker. I think, I think it's hilarious that Miss Pat is getting the true family. Family dynamic and can't handle it. I know, yeah. Like how normal families operate when you ask your mom and dad questions. She's like, why the fuck you asking me? 
I have to tell him. I said, and I ask him. I ask him every day. I said, now, today is going to be a good day or a bad day. Do you want the ghetto mom or the <laughs> soccer mom? And they don't never want the ghetto mom, but that's the bitch that they wake up in me. <laughs> she, she, every time I talk to her, she's going through a drive through There's <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I sound me real too. fat. Me no, too. Not, it's not for you, though. It's no, never for it's you. It's never for you. It's for the kids. Uh, Except she did ask for grilled nuggets last night because I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> But <laughs> no, I was at Chick Fil A. I said, "Give me uh, twelve grilled nuggets because I'm trying to lose motherfucking weight." <laughs> I like cussing at the Chick Fil A people because they supposed to be Christian. <laughs> when all the little girls look like they suck dick on a regular and don't never go to church. <laughs> They I'm some freaky you. bitches at Chick Fil A. She asked for a second sack of sauces. <laughs> <laughs> She goes, this is for reparations. <laughs> I almost wrecked my car. Because <laughs> I'm just looking at this, thinking about this homeschool kid just going, oh, yeah, yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll let me go get the chef sauce. Would you like barbecue sauce, too? Yeah, but those kids are in my neighborhood are, are fucking homeschool. Yeah. They, are, they don't know shit. Like, when, when my son worked there, all they talked about was, um, you know, they was just, like, really homeschooled. My son was like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? I was like, they ain't never seen shit. You should Google Elsa. Of sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> so I go through the Chick fil A drive through one day, and I, my son worked there for like four years so I can get a discount. And when he quit, <laughs> when he graduated, I wanted to kill his ass, Chris. <laughs> I was like, How dare you fuck up my 30%? <laughs> So he was like, it was never my pleasure. It was your pleasure. I said, well, get your ass back in there and pleasure some more, motherfucker. <laughs> but he ended up quitting right after graduation. He's like, I'm out this bitch. And quit Chick-fil-A. I was heartbroken. Uh. <laughs> so one little girl, was at, she was homeschooled. And so I asked her one day, I said, so, you know, they're all Christians and shit supposed to be. So I said, in my little white neighborhood, y'all. So I said, I said, so you graduate from school or you going to college? She was like, no, Miss Pat, I'm not going to college. I'm like, well, what are you going to do? I want to be a mother like my mother. I said, come here, bitch. Let me talk to you. <laughs> I said, dick is delicious. You ain't got to let a nigga get you pregnant. I said, look, you've been in this small ass town your whole life. Do you know you can go out to California and suck a rainbow of dicks? What the fuck is wrong with you? Take that dress off, bitch, and get the fuck up out of this small town. <laughs> I swear to God, we need a TV show like Scared Straight, but with, <laughs> where Miss Pat yells at Chick-fil-A homeschool kids. Yeah. <laughs> Watch the like, shit out of who the fuck want to be a mama unless you need extra income? You got a job, bitch. You know I, mean? well, I want to be a mother like my mother. I said, your fucking mother is miserable, okay? I'm telling you. She can't tell you this shit, but your fucking mother is miserable. She tired of baking American pies and watching Fox TV with your fucking daddy. With this bald little dick. Yeah, with your bald little dick. Your mama missed out all the good dick because she trying to follow some shit that might not even be real. I said, get out of this motherfucking small town. And so I seen her a year later. She said, you know what, Miss Pat? I went to college. I, I don't live here anymore. I, she was here home. She was. She came back to work at Chick-fil-A for the summertime. I was like, are you sucking dick yet? <laughs> <laughs> is she, though? Well, Yeah, she's sucking dick. I think she wanted June bug. Oh, well, <laughs> what Chick-fil-A is this? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm just trying to get some nuggets. I'm trying to lose weight. Yeah, we know what nuggets you're trying to get. Yeah. <laughs> nuggets in the jaws. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. I love pussy. Pulling up my chick for like cussing out them white kids. Hey, my motherfucker, soft noodles. I love to, uh, talking to her on the phone. Like I need to record it for people because it is the I c cry every single time. It is the funniest shit. Last night she was going off on the Olsen twins. Oh, uh, them bitches. <laughs> Tim, they's 33. Did you see that picture I posted? Yeah, if that, if that's 33 rough. in white years, we, black people, we need to start giving these white people some melanoma or melanella, <laughs> mellow yellow. <laughs> melanoma, they don't want that. <laughs> mellow that. yellow. Trust me, white people have enough mellow yellow. <laughs> Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck we got in our skin? Cause these bitches are sinking in like potholes. <laughs> 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 They do look like they've been in a dehydrator a couple, oh my God. couple months. Like, like dried out banana. Yeah, it, Somebody it, said the funniest shit about some they age like banana. I said, and not organic banana. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, them bitches. What happened to them bitches? One of them look like the grandma and the other look like the, the daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I thought money was supposed to make you look beautiful. Shit. And... They must have, they must have, somebody must took their money like they did Gary Coleman money. <laughs> them bitches were dressed like hippies, like it was motherfucking flowers all over their house. <laughs> Gary Coleman. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what does that mean? Like sh- short little, money? Little I money. Guess yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> man, what you thing, talking about, Miss Pat? Yeah. <laughs> them them hoes were dog face ugly. Why are you talking about the old sister? They got me dog face. Well, they, I mean, I've never, I've just, I've never seen a rich white woman age. Like, let me tell you something. When <laughs> Betty Davis looked better than you, that bitch went to school with Jesus, Bet- graduated with Marlo the King, and fucking dated Donald Trump. That's real old right now. <laughs> when Betty Davis looked better than you, and that bitch hold it, Betty Davis for she, real. She's dead. You're talking about Betty White. Betty White. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, Chris, who the fuck is? Betty Davis. <laughs> Who the fuck is Betty Davis? She's, she's an actress from the 40s. <laughs> I was like, Betty Davis and Alicia Curry are some hoes. I can't stand them motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm talking about Betty White. That bitch down. She went to school with Jesus, graduated with Jesus, uh, dated Martin Luther King, and fucking dated Trump. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. You know what I'm trying to say. That guy. I'm like, how the fuck do Betty White look better than you? <laughs> Betty White look better than the Olsen twin. She must looked at them bitches the other day. Well, who? A bitch still got it. <laughs> all I need is they pussy. That's all she needs is they pussy. Who you fucking? They pussy Betty, probably Betty, look like that too. Betty White or the Olsen twins? Oh, Betty know. White all day, every day. Yeah, who wouldn't I fuck Betty White? I don't even like women. <laughs> I would love to them see the Olsen video of them twin. two scissoring. <laughs> Just the no. Golden Girls theme in the background. Somebody Thank said, you for being a friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Somebody said they look like the White Walkers from Game of Thrones. <laughs> what the fuck is the White Walkers? And I Googled that shit. I said, holy shit. <laughs> and that was a white person told me. And I was like, damn, y'all mean. That shit. That, I'm telling you, them hoes. They are, they, they've lived a rough life, apparently. I don't, I don't even know if it's crack. Crack. I've never seen a crack. My sister smoked crack. And her face ain't sunk in like that. That's some new shit. <laughs> I don't know. I just I was I was blown away. And they, they was their birthday. They were thirty three years fucking old. The other Ain't thing no that no way in the hell. The other thing that Miss Pat not on. kill. I'm on the phone. What do you want? Oh jeez. <laughs> don't call me. Call them. They they got to get your kids. Where the fuck are you? What what did you sneak in? <laughs> what the fuck you watching? I'm at the movies. Watching what? The Why your old lad watching back. a lad? Old memories. You ain't never watched no fucking Aladdin in your life. I watch all the Aladdin. All the Aladdin's by. <laughs> Just saying something for people. <laughs> the other thing from our conversation last night. All of a sudden, she'll inexplicably just start laughing hysterically, and cr- <laughs> you can hear her crying. You. For what? Seven seven ba- b- white basketball player. You remember that guy? Oh my! See, God. see, see. What's his name? I, I, I don't make that poor kid. Look, I said. I told him last night. I said, "This is white people way of getting back in the game. They created that. Ain't nobody gave birth to that. White folks are you niggas gonna let me back in the game? And they fucking came up with this scratchy ass white dude. We'll put the video in the Facebook group. Oh, oh, my, oh god. my god! You gotta that, see it. This. I was like, Chris, what the fuck have your people done? This ain't real. <laughs> this motherfucker chess on backwards. <laughs> this guy seriously looked like he was a bad Sims character from 2003. I need to stop making fun of that poor kid. It ain't his fault. He's That's seven, a kid. Seven. Yeah, he a kid. He like 14. Well, what the fuck did his mama <laughs> fuck? A spider? <laughs> Nigga, that's a granddaddy long leg standing up straight. That kid look like a granddaddy long leg standing up straight. I thought it was just daddy long leg. He huh? a granddaddy long leg. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. We call him granddaddy long leg Why? down south. Because that's somebody granddaddy you got to smash. <laughs> Y'all didn't call him you ever heard long Granddaddy Long Legs? No! Leg? <laughs> it is Granddaddy fucking Long no, Legs. It's just I, Daddy Long Legs. No, it's just not a daddy. fucking Daddy Long Legs. <laughs> yes, you don't know the fuck you talking about. How about I, I prove to you by <laughs> calling one of my it, calling one of my lifelines in the ghetto. <laughs> All right. Lifeline Quisha. She know every fucking thing. Two people being wrong is possible. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you a goddamn lie. It's called Granddaddy Long Leg down south. Down south is called. And I'm name. asking you why when it's just Daddy Longleg. Because he old in the face. <laughs> so she's going to call someone that she pays regularly. No, you a goddamn lie. To, dis- no. to disagree with her, I'm sure. No, no. It's called Granddaddy Longleg. I bet you $50. The same way y'all thought Black Pussy when Quisha. Hi, honey. Tell them that it's, it's the, that damn long legged spider. We call him Granddaddy Long Legs. It's Granddaddy Long Legs. You're a well, fucking liar, Quisha. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you. I'm not saying that you can't call him that. I'm saying Bye, why Quisha. do you call him that? We cows. They old in the face. <laughs> they old. <laughs> Never seen a he ain't never looked at Daddy Long no. Leg in the face. No, me either. You know, no. they under move my like foot. old people. <laughs> they move like they got fucking. If you look at them close, they got motherfucking handicap stickers around their neck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, what the fuck are y'all? Y'all so fucking Midwest. I hate y'all. Y'all don't know shit about that down south shit. It grand that Long Leg. A lot of people pick them up and put them outside because they don't like killing old people. <laughs> this is. Nonsense. And you want me to move to Atlanta with this bullshit? <laughs> Stop calling them Granddaddy Long Legs. Just Daddy Long Legs. No, they're fucking called Granddaddy Long Legs. If you kill them, your grandparents don't die again. Trust yes, me. they do. If you kill them, you fucking killing old people. So you should pick them up and put them outside. Well, fuck them because they ruined Social Security. Smash every last one of them, goddamn. I don't know if they get Social Security. That's a good point. We need to start killing them. Either. So we can have something left. <laughs> shit Y'all don't know shit uh, I teach y'all young people So fucking much And Dion you black But you ain't black I'm black But I ain't nigga black Like <laughs> no, you You, you, you down right. south you nigga You black. No, you, I'm, I'm you. so uncomfortable right now. <laughs> So I know y'all seen That Sarah Huckabee Is leaving Oh yeah, yeah. Two yeah. faces out the rest. <laughs> Ooh, that, that, that. Um, you know what? I hope while she gone, she gets somebody to fix that eye that keep looking over her shoulder. Because <laughs> that eye was uncontrollable, nigga. I was like, if they don't tighten that eye, fuck your pussy. Get your eye muscle straightened up. Because that motherfucker be going, I, she need a magnet on her nose. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all laughing at that work too for cross eyed people. Your Everybody, eyes not made of metal. <laughs> what the it's fuck? something about the pupil. <laughs> fuck you, the, the what? It's something about the pupil that make the eye go directly to the motherfucking magnet. And when my uncle then would cross eyed, my granddad, just, she just taped that magnet right there on their nose. <laughs> How big was the magnet? What kind of metal face family do you have? <laughs> it, that's how you straighten up cross eyes. Y'all ain't never heard that. No. No. You're the <sighs> call queen should get. <laughs> call queen. Seriously. I'm calling queen. Metal magnet face motherfuckers. I've never heard of it. granddaddy this. long. <laughs> this is insane. Let me see if queen should heard of it. Y'all don't know the fuck. Y'all, y'all so fucking young. I'm sorry we lived a regular life. <laughs> yeah. With, queen show. With no knock eyed people. Queen should tell them. Do you remember back in the day? And I don't know if this happened in your house or when people were cross-sided, people would put magnets on their nose so their eyes could straighten up. <laughs> and my grandma did that. Thank you. Man, I I'll hate the South. That. I'm sick. Don't call <laughs> Quisha no more. No. Quisha, <laughs> Quisha okay. is no longer your lifeline. I call my husband. I call my fucking husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, audience, they always think I'm What lying. is wrong with the South, Chris? I don't know. I think it's the heat. It fries <laughs> the brain. <laughs> You mean to fry the brain? The dumbest is in in the Midwest. No, we didn't have people Yo, who needed a magnet. No, no, we didn't have no. anybody who needed a magnet on their face. We have medical care. <laughs> Gary, can you tell me? You remember back in the day, if you had a cross-eyed relative, they would put a magnet on their nose to straighten up their eyes. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank Gary. You. Thank Finally. you so much. A voice of reason on this podcast. You never heard of that, Gary? <laughs> <laughs> My granddaddy. <laughs> okay, you ever heard of a granddaddy long leg? I'm a spider. Yeah, then we call them granddaddy long legs. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, one down. Okay, he never had to make me shit. He did have health care. <laughs> I told you. He had health care. <laughs> <laughs> so That's some that poor people poor shit right there. What, 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 was it like a stud? Like, like a little, like a nose little battery, ring? a little magnet, a magnet, just a little bit on. And you would tape it to the nose and their eyes would go there. My gra- That's how you straighten up cross people, cross-sided people's eyes. Because we didn't, they, I don't know. That just, <laughs> a lot of niggas at my house had magnets on their nose. So to improve <laughs> the visual problem of no, to a control rolling. control that motherfucking eye. Yeah, but it's it's. It like, was either that or you stick a steering wheel in the top of the head. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is you left, nigga, at? left. <laughs> 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 I, I, I got to nail this job interview. Left. <laughs> but I'm saying like a ro- like a moving eye is a visual issue, and then you're taping something to the front of your face like a nerd like with the right, glasses. Was, black people got long, big, wide nose, so a magnet can lay up. Yeah, but it's not that big. Oh, uh, you ain't seen a nigga nose I seen, Chris. <laughs> you just started hanging out with black folks. It's a wide true. nose. My son nose is bigger than your dick. I don't know how big your dick is, but my son nose is all over his face, ain't it, Dion? And shit just be popping out of it like little worm. All that cheeseburger he be eating just be coming up out of nose <laughs> and shit. That, that's the other 
another thing on the phone with Miss Pat. She shamed her her son for losing weight. He was shaming the family for losing weight. <laughs> He done lost too much motherfucking weight. Say he's no longer one of you? No. He, he wait till we go to sleep and throw out all the good shit. I said, if you don't stay the fuck out my pantry, I'll stab you in your motherfucking little bitty stomach. He goes to the store today and try on some motherfucking... He was a 52 in jeans. Now he a 40. You can't tell him shit. <laughs> and me and Gary, I'm standing there like obese motherfucker, saying, whoo, we need to get our shit together. So yeah. she had a salad. Yeah. So I went about... I told... I felt bad, so I went and bought me a chicken breast and then when he bought the chicken breast he cooked it for me but back to the mcdonald nose yes if you we didn't have eye care so and medicaid only gave you them thick ass glasses once a year so my granddad used to put magnets on our nose oh my God. and uh to straighten our eyes out i don't <laughs> think i don't think sarah huckabee sanders is gonna go the magnet route well she should have it's too late he's gotta get them when they're young <laughs> 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 it's like those kids in the helmets or whatever. Uh, uh, you can't. So you, we just got to steer the wheel now. <laughs> yeah. uh, you you can't straighten up no grown ass eye. <laughs> that eye too strong and it rebellious and it won't listen. <laughs> They're trying to tell a, a fucking white kid that a kid cuss out their parent. They don't work. So that eye too grown. So for Sarah Huckabee, for Sarah Huckabee, I don't know. The bitch might need a Captain America patch over her eye. <laughs> That's another ugly woman. That's a man. Don't she look like a man? She looked just like her daddy. I said a Mike man. Mike Huckabee. Mike yeah. Huckabee. Yeah. She looks yeah. just like it her daddy. It is fucked up when you have a daughter and it co- you have a daughter that look like a man. That is just yeah. too fucking much. <laughs> that is it. I mean, all she missing is a dick because she got the neck like an old white man. And, uh, googly chick. Oh, I hate to see the motherfucking old people with their fucking neck swinging and shit like my arm be swinging. Like, how the fuck your neck swinging? Oh, you, you look like you say crock a doodle doo <laughs> And you know, <laughs> ain't that what the rooster no, said? No, it's crock a doodle doo, but we we got what you were trying to say. My motherfucking chicken said crock a doodle doo. If you've not heard that episode, uh, my goddamn chicken, was chicken her said crock a doodle doo. My, my, my motherfucking friend, it's the, it's the, <laughs> the rooster said crock a doodle doo. I know what that rooster said there, boy. <laughs> Tell my mama killed his ass. He said crock a doodle doo. So, uh, <laughs> have, we, have we put that episode out? Yes. Okay. Crock a doodle doo. Yeah, so her neck be hanging like, uh, she said crock a doodle doo. And then she had that little split in like it was going to turn into a set of balls. You know, the, split, <laughs> the little split being in the neck when it get to hanging too Now, long. to be fair, she had only talked to Miss Pat. So, <laughs> she had heard Bangladesh and. Who? Who only talked to me back? Cuckoo. Is it Cuckoo? Yeah, uh, Cuckoo, my yeah. chicken. Yeah, yeah, he talked to me, but I'm talking about she had the neck like my motherfucking chicken. Oh, you're talking head. about Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Sarah Huckabee Sanders. I thought we were Sanders. talking about the chicken. <laughs> the fuck? The chicken's supposed to have a neck like that. <laughs> Follow the goddamn conversation, Chris. I'm trying. You lost white boy, Chris. Yeah, I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fucking chicken. We still worried about the magnets on the face. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to recover. Yeah, uh, fuck yeah. Okay, <laughs> motherfucking she, Sarah Huckabee got that motherfucking rooster neck to say crock a doodle doo, and it got that little line in it like it about to turn into two sets of balls upon her neck. <laughs> You so ain't never noticed that shit. Chinian. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've, I've noticed it. She's a hard faced bitch. She look like part Russian. <laughs> what's so in, what's so interesting is that she's been the face of the administration the entire time, and he's so obsessed with looks. Yeah, and like, and you and, go out and get a dog face. <laughs> I never oh. got it. <laughs> and she don't be right near you. telling me I'm wrong, because it's my right to have an opinion about any goddamn thing I want to have, and I don't think she cute. And you <laughs> might not think we cute, and we personally don't give a fuck. Amen. Now she is not cute. I don't give a fuck. Now I know some cute white girl. That motherfucking Charlie Angel bitch. What's her name? Farrah Fawcett. Woo, that bitch was hot to my. <laughs> That's a pretty ass white woman. To the day she left for about this motherfucker. I felt she sorry. Was she died the same day as Michael Jackson. No, Michael Jackson stole her fucking shot. <laughs> call it however you want to. Yeah, call Michael it. Jackson was dirty that day. Do you know he could have went to sleep the day after? <laughs> he stole her. She shot didn't know she was dying. He didn't know she was dying. <laughs> he didn't know she was gonna die that day. 
you know what's so fucked up? Because I had all my emotions ready to cry for Farrah Fawcett that day, and fucking Michael Jackson died, and I had to give them to him. <laughs> <laughs> they really should like organize a you yeah. know, death pool and maybe get in a Facebook group and coordinate their deaths. Hey, did Farrah die yet? <laughs> she didn't. All right, I'm going to go ahead and, and die. Die before her? <laughs> he died before her that day, No, nah, she died first. She died first? She and died then he just took over the new. Everybody about to mourn home. They like, interruption, breaking news. Like, did what? Breaking news, motherfucker. And he just, they just bumped all TV and told about the other shit. Yeah, so, I watched a documentary on her last night uh, <laughs> where she was chronicling her cancer and all the treatments that she went through. That shit, uh, I felt. Like, I, I'm not a big Charlie. I never watched that shit, oh, but I knew who she was. You. And she was fine as fuck. Like, don't, I'm not saying that, but man, her, she was still positive to her dying days. I feel bad for her because her kid was in jail while she was going through her cancer treatments. And so instead of staying in the hospital like she was supposed to, she was trying to go get back to her kid. No. And it's like, man, that would not be Miss Pat. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never lie. <laughs> I ain't got time to be worried about them grown ass kids. They ain't worried about me. All they worry about my motherfucking money. I ain't worried about them goddamn children. They be all right. They ready to split. What? I'm gonna do me a video when I die, and I'm gonna update it every ten years after I turn fifty. I'm like, you ain't shit. You ain't shit. None of you motherfuckers ain't shit. What I leave you? What the fuck you came here with? You be, That's what you get. You be the shit. only ghost with a wig. <laughs> no, I'm gonna do a video. I'm like, I'm gonna I'm gonna roast the shit out of everybody in my feelings. <laughs> yeah, everybody sitting in the Pearl Pit, gonna get it. The what? Pearl Pit. <laughs> the Pearl Pit. What is it called? The pulpit. Pearl Pit. Pulpit. No, that where you cook barbecue at. No, that's, that's the barbecue pit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need to take a break. <laughs> Pearl Pit. You've worked hard to prepare your youngest for first grade. Now you're ready to save for college. And it doesn't have to be complicated. Open a 13-month CD with Citibank today and earn a guaranteed 2.5% annual percentage yield. It's designed to put your money to work so you don't have to stress about a thing, except maybe picture day. Visit a Citibank branch to open a certificate of deposit with a minimum of $25,000 and earn a 2.5% annual percentage yield over the next 13 months. City, welcome what's next. Terms and conditions apply. Okay, y'all, we back from the break. Ah. Oh. I had to go take a piss after that. Y'all had me in here wetting my panties. <laughs> Jesus. And speaking of vaginas, uh, did y'all see the uh, the guy who had the frozen pussies in his freezer? Like, 21. 21? Like, 21. Like, like he got them on sale at Walmart. <laughs> Costco even. Yeah. I mean, he just went and bought us. Hey, I'm going to take all these pussies. And my thing is, the, he cut them out. <laughs> yeah, what's the what's the? I don't think there's a freezer big enough for 21 whole pussies. <laughs> Wait, the pussy just a little square down there. <laughs> yeah, he, he didn't put the whole ass in the freezer. I'm just saying he cut the. Did he cut the lips off, or he just cut the <laughs> just the clit? The clit. <laughs> The clitoris, or did he just cut the shape of the vagina? And when he when he unraveled it from the body, did it like unfold like a slinky or what? It was just he put them in freezer bags. He had them. In, what he was wanted, he doing? He didn't Frying want to freezer burn. <laughs> He's saving them for that? later. This nigga got a barbecue. What you cooking? Fried pussy. Fried pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and I got my black pussy incense burning too. Yeah, Jesus. Well, he had him in the pool pit. <laughs> 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 what I want to know was, did he at least? Soak them to get the hair off of them. <laughs> I mean, it's fucked up when you eat a chicken wing with a, with a, with a feather on it. <laughs> you don't want to eat a, You don't want to eat a bearded pussy. <laughs> that might be his thing. It might scratch your top lip. Yeah, maybe. Was he eating them? I didn't read the story. What, what do fried pussy? Now, that's some shit I can think I can, my gay daughter would do right now. <laughs> you just put her on a national podcast on the hook for Yeah, murdering. I believe she would put, not murder a bit, but I believe she, if she could, she will cut the pussy out and put it in the refrigerator and just lick on it like a popsicle every now and then. <laughs> Oh my god! What? <laughs> That's how I gave my daughter. I believe she was lick on frozen pussy. <laughs> I, I and serve it to you on crackles too. <laughs> As a what is an appetizer or hors d'oeuvres? Hors d'oeuvres. Yeah. yeah. Like what you pussy got? Hors d'oeuvres. Pussy hors d'oeuvres. It's like that little shit they used to give you when you used to go to church. You know how you, you eat the blood of Jesus? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the communion. communion. Yeah, the <laughs> communion. I she used to piss me off. Did I tell y'all that time? No. That I used to go to communion, right? Go to church to eat, and then they come around them little shit ass crack. I'm like, ma'am, can I have some more? Well, that's only Jesus. Bitch, give me more Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jesus said he want me to eat his whole ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just put 
pussy. <laughs> Either get down to that frozen pussy out your freezer because I'm hungry. <laughs> they come around with that little bit of ass thing of grape juice. You know, this is very small. It wasn't even enough to make you swallow the cracker. And that little fucking dingy ass cracker. And it was fucking, in the black church, it was always stale because they weren't going to throw away shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was a cracker for? A sy- symbolism the, the body of, of Christ. The, the body, body of Christ. So right. you were eating Jesus. It's, a, it's a, to sustain you, basically. To, from what, nigga? Stop. What? <laughs> what? what? You're the, right. That shit didn't even crack a hunger. <laughs> my stomach over there motherfucking having a whole concert in my stomach. And you come around with that little treasure, bitch, I'm going to take all these. <laughs> You're going to go to the back and get some more Jesus for the rest of these niggas. <laughs> so I'm about to eat all these Jesus in the blood. <laughs> Ain't no way in the hell. I, I hated black church because they would break that cracker down like crack. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all laughing. They did break that cracker down like crack. You were so poor as a kid. <laughs> like, Fuck you. A <laughs> tiny little cracker they have on a razor blade. They're just cutting it into fours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I fuck. I said, give me the whole These box. These niggas ain't going to eat all my Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I tell my kids all the time, you don't know poetry. You said that and talk to me, motherfucker. And my, and my daughter be like, oh, my God. It's our cable going to get cut off. Fuck yeah. Go to the basement. <laughs> That's a bougie ass. Our cable got cut off one day. My husband called me. I called my husband. I was like, Garrett. The fucking cave off. He said, oh, the cave off. Cut it on for the kids. Get out the school. I say, like, fuck these children. They can do with that cable. Nigga, I'm going to bed. <laughs> fuck that shit. You cut the cave on when you get here. Nigga, I took my bra off and fucking got in the bed and slept on top of my titty like a new baby. <laughs> 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 Chris, you ain't never slept on top of your titty, boy. That shit is feel good. Mine and are when, just eight cups. Hey, my, mine's a D's, B's, C's. <laughs> <laughs> I added you got a whole report card. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Jeez, I, you know, you worry about the mother. Fuck them fat ass kids. They ain't that. Fuck these kids. They, man, fuck the kids. <laughs> Especially mine, because they ungrateful as fuck. Ungrateful motherfucker. I'm worried about the cable getting cut off. A nigga, you know how I watch cable? By uh, peeking on another nigga wonder, like <laughs> fucking peeking Tom. <laughs> 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 Miss Pat, <laughs> do I have to explain to you where you live and how white it is? I wouldn't be doing that. Um, of course you wouldn't be doing that. You didn't eat all of Jesus either. <laughs> you didn't ask for no second on Jesus toes. I did. Just, a, just, just imagine you're sitting there watching TV and then suddenly all Some you hear Some black is, key. Oh. <laughs> Change it back, nigga. I'm watching that. <laughs> Mitt Rudolph, turn that shit back. We looking at a living color, nigga. These fucking white people. Well, no white people. They were black. And they had them big ass color, flow model color TV. And she be in there watching in living color. We be peeking through that bitch window watching in living color. Cause my mom over there somewhere watching Rocks for Files. Y'all remember that shit? The Rocks no. for Files, yeah. Yeah, my mom watching that. We want to see in living color. Bitch, turn that shit off. Old ass shit. Little house on the pair. Bitch with that long. Long ass dress on, vagina must is a motherfucker. That long ass dress in the summertime. <laughs> <laughs> what? The long ass dress to make your vagina must. It's a good point because yeah. people didn't bathe more than like once a week back then. What? Yeah, didn't no, no grooming, nothing. Oh, that's in the white community. Talk, my mom used not, to put bleach in her water. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Talk my about, mama had that. My mama had about that I'm talking about 1872. I'm, I'm not talking about 1972. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's what been from 1872? Did you know that toilet paper wasn't even invented until like 1920? What would they wipe their ass with? Leaves? Co- corn cobs, leaves. Corn cobs! Rags. <laughs> that's why I eat corn to this day. <laughs> corn cobs! Yeah, imagine walking your ass out in the middle of the night imagine. to an outhouse and then wiping with a corn cob. Nigga, that didn't get that ass clean? No! <laughs> you know how... You know, corn, corn can't even hold that much shit. I literally, <laughs> you know how much shit corn can hold. Because his teeth is so fucking close together. <laughs> I just short circuited. Man, I would have, I would have just got on the ground and scooped my ass like a duck. <laughs> so, I'll put some leaves in my ass. I ain't gonna put no motherfucking corn car. They were gay. <laughs> you ain't got stick a corn cob up your ass after a big ass turd just fell out. Something wrong with you. So I don't think they're right, Chris. Ain't nobody putting no corn cob in their ass. Now they might have scooted their ass on the ground like Robo did. But no, ain't nobody ain't nobody putting no corn cob. You ain't gonna make me maybe the maybe the leaves from the corn. I can see you wipe your ass with that awesome lead because I crumbled up some lead and stuck it up my ass and shake them out before. <laughs> Wait, what? When? When we used to fuck in the park, I had to take a shit and then you shake, the, you shake it out. <laughs> <laughs> when, 
<laughs> when you were fucking in the park or just fucking around in the park? The fucking in the park. Cause we had a hotel money. He was married. So he'd take me to the park or the graveyard. And you had a, 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 a mid-sex shit that you had to... Oh, my God. Sometimes you go know, in the bush and take a shit and wipe his ass on a tree. So you mean tell me, Little House on Prairie, people couldn't wipe their ass on no tree? No. Why? Because they use corn. <laughs> they use corn cobs. <laughs> you ain't going to make me believe that shit, Chris. White people ain't that crazy. Oh yes, they are. I mean it was multiracial. Everybody was no, using a corn. I ain't cup. never heard no slave wiping their ass with no corn <laughs> cob. Now that shit ain't in the book of slavery. And Harry the book Tupman, of slavery. Wait, where'd you get this book? <laughs> well, Harry Tupman ain't never freed no nigga with no corn cobs in the ass. <laughs> yeah, you can't run with corn cob in your ass. No, that shit, that gritty shit, that little that little big piece of corn that irritated shit out you. You'll you never make it to Canada is. with corn in your ass. <laughs> you know how irritating leftover tissue is in your booty? Yeah. You ever left tissue in your booty? Not generally, no. <laughs> <laughs> you always pussyfooting around the truth. Now, you know you done had wipe your ass in a hurry and got up and realized. I've never I had. Got- you get the itchy ass because you don't wipe all the way. I've had shit in my ass, but I haven't had <laughs> toilet, had toilet paper. Well, you be in a hurry, wipe your ass, and you be like, what's that in back there just dingling around in my ass? Then you go back to the bathroom, it's a whole fucking half a piece of tissue. Miss Pat, I want you to, I'm going to stand up here. Look at this ass. There's not much ass there. Look at this. Yeah, you back the like legs. Gary, right. I, you and I have different ass setups, okay? Like, it's, it's, I wish yeah, I could have right. saw. You have a lot more than I do. Yeah, you're right, because if you leave some tissue hanging out your ass, you're going to be able to see it a mile away. Right. Because you have no ass. You de- you pretty much sitting on your spine. So I understand. I I apologize for the corn in your ass. <laughs> Accusing you of that bullshit. Cause he ain't never left no tissue. Yet. He ain't got no ass, y'all. It, this motherfucker just got straight back all the way down to the cab. There's nothing there. <laughs> nothing there. Good thing you ain't gay because a nigga couldn't hit you from the back. <laughs> he truly would be hitting you from the back. There's no cushion for pushing. Back no, there. no. My husband built like that. He ain't got no ass either. Get bones. <laughs> I said, my, and my poor child shaped like that too, Lord. I told Gary, I said, when mama get rich, I'm going to buy you a, a Chloe Kardashian ass. <laughs> I'm buying everybody in my house ass. My husband and my daughter. My husband's like, you ain't buying me no fucking ass. I said, you gonna get an ass too, nigga. <laughs> he gonna wake up with an ass one day. <laughs> what the? Oh, I'm having kidnap. He gonna wake up with an ass on him. Like, Woo, you look good. <laughs> they gonna take all the ass from the stomach and put it on, put it on the back of him. He needs some ass. My husband needs some ass. I love him, but he needs some ass. Oh, Not no man. ass like that. That don't sound right. You probably shouldn't give him a Khloe Kardashian ass. Yeah. <laughs> Just give him a, a regular man ass, like Junebug. Give him ass like his son. <laughs> my boy shaped like me and my girl shaped like their daddy. Oh, that's <laughs> well, unfortunate. At least they don't look like they daddy. <laughs> Who right. was we talking about earlier that look like they motherfucking daddy? Huckabee. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sarah Huckabee. Would you fuck Sarah Huckabee? No. Why not? Because I don't find her attractive at all. Yeah, how much you paying me? To fuck? Right. I mean, I thought about it because I was like, well, if there was enough money involved. Yeah. But I don't uh, who is her husband? Uh, some guy named Sanders. <laughs> I have no idea. Do, do they ever show him? No, not that I know of. It's not like it's not like Kelly and Conway with the husband that's always. Oh, I on love Twitter. her husband. Her husband be tearing some shit up. <laughs> oh, I don't even see. I told him I said you need to jump that bitch and get with a hero. You need to come over here and fuck me, George. What's his name? Stephanopoulos. <laughs> George Stephanopoulos. Uh, George uh, Conway. George Conway. I sent him a text message. She don't love you like I could. Get your ass. <laughs> She over there letting her boss. I wish my motherfucking boss would fuck with my husband. My husband boss fuck with him. I'm going to go out there and beat his ass. You going to be fucking with my motherfucking husband, nigga. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about you being the president. You gonna, we going to tag team your ass on Twitter, inbox, and pop, and publicly. <laughs> you know, white women, learn how to take up for your motherfucking man. Don't you let your boss, your husband, your boss talk about your motherfucking husband. You talk about his motherfucking children that look like goddamn Adam family. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucking daughter look like uh, the the, mo- the son look like the monster Eddie and the monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah you don't don't let come way if you listen to this. You probably ain't don't let white women take up for your man. You gotta learn how to be right or die. Don't you ever let nobody talk about your man, even if he a piece of shit. That's your piece of shit that you chose to be with. And as long as you chose that piece of shit, more power to you for that piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck you laughing at. <laughs> Dick is delicious. <laughs> now we're going to end that episode with this. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I've been Miss Pat. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another episode of The Pat Down. Make sure you check out my website at misspatcomedy.com for all of my social media, my tour dates, my book. Make sure you spread the word about my podcast. Please rate and review. 
please rate and review and share. Thank y'all so much, y'all. I've been Miss Pat.